Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's unlike any other orchestra you may know. That's because it's made up entirely of ukuleles. Meet the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain. The eight-member band plays covers from Steppenwolf Born to, be to Lady Gaga. Listen to me when I say I'm beautiful in my way. A lot of the stuff that people like us for is cover versions, mm. rock classics or some old piece of classical music or something. But then you've got to find the ukulele orchestra way of doing it. It all started out with one ukulele. And then we got another one and then some people came round and they got some. <laughs> and before you know where you are, you've got an orchestra. 25 years later, the group is packing them in at the Royal Albert Hall, the Sydney Opera House and Carnegie Hall. You can just do something that nobody's ever done before. And you might fail there as well, but at least you'll have had a go at doing it your own way. With terminology like pluck, plink, and ting, you might think that the band is just for fun, but group member George Inchliff says that's not entirely true. Yeah, we're serious about the music, but we try to make the show an entertaining experience. Why not feel happy at all? I think the music's got to be uh, convincing, you know, so if it's a jazz thing, it's got to swing. If it's a rock thing, it's got to have a, a beat that's going somewhere, you know. It's no wonder the ukulele is gaining popularity, with artists like John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and Jimi Hendrix all having played the quirky four-stringed instrument. So it's safe to say that the ukulele is no small thing. Cassandra Cepeda, CBS News, London.